Hi, how's everybody doing today? Uh, Clint, the audio guy here at Extend Technologies. I just thought I'd show you our Macintosh stack in our hi-fi room here at the store. Um, this is the kind of system where uh, if you want something that's a bit above an integrated amp, you want to go separates, you want something that hits pretty good, but doesn't uh, get into the price point or the size and weight, of a full-blown um, separates monoblock kind of setup. Uh, it'll fit all in a nice clean rack like this, you know, single stack rack. And um, this is uh, a system that will last for the rest of your life, basically, and um, sound really good. You know, you can hand it down to um, Macintosh is one of those kind of heirloom pieces. Uh, Anyway, uh, from the top down, we uh, have the MT5 turntable. Uh, it's got the underlit green platter. The platter's on a magnetic ba uh, bearing, so very low friction there. It comes with a machined aluminum record clamp. It also comes with an acrylic dust cover, which is optional on a lot of other turntables. Uh, and it comes with a blue point number two, which is a high output uh, moving coil cartridge. Uh, it sounds really good. Uh, the one thing I like about it a lot is that the knob lets you turn to whatever speed, whatever size record you want. So you got 33s, 45s, and 78s. Um, you don't have to pull the platter and change over a belt uh, to a different pulley uh, like a lot of turntables. Uh, you just turn to it, so it's very convenient, very easy to use. Uh, it's got a really nice tone arm on it as well. Uh, you don't have to have the backlight on if you don't want to. Um, in this mode, it backlights the platter and the logos when you turn your stereo on. Uh, you can have it off completely unless you're using it. And then all the way to the right starts the platter spinning and you're ready to play records. Uh, the next piece down is the C49 preamplifier. This is the entry level um, fully featured preamp, let's say. There is one less expensive, but the one below this doesn't have a DAC on board. Uh, so this one, by fully featured, I mean it has a DAC, it has a phono stage for moving magnet and moving coil, and it sounds really good with this turntable on it. Uh, you get balanced inputs, you get uh, balanced and single-ended, and balanced output as well. Um, so that's got everything you need. Really, it sounds the same uh, as the C53, which is a more expensive preamp. It just, uh, the C53 adds an eight band EQ and blue meters and um, a DA2, which is the upgraded DAC module. Uh, this does come with a modular DAC though, because the DAC is the only part of a preamp that can potentially go out of date. Um, because newer sound formats are coming out all the time and they, they have uh, wisely, in my opinion, created a DAC that is modular so when things change substantially enough and you want to update to the most current technology you just pull that module out, new module plugs in and you're all set to go. So that really extends the lifespan of your preamplifier. And as I say, in, in the whole audio industry, the two things, the two things that will hold their value the best are preamps and amps. Um, they, they also generally last the longest too. Uh, next piece down is the MPC 500 power controller. So um, price points here, by the way, are 7,000 currently, that is uh, 5,000 and uh, the power controller is 2500. Uh, they came out with a new entry level power controller. Uh, it doesn't have the meters on it, uh, but the, the one above it gets meters and a giant uh, toroidal isolation transformer, and it's over 100 pounds. Um, that unit is 5500 bucks. So to complete your stack with all Macintosh, this uh, definitely lowers the point of entry. Um, but uh, it's all you need for a system like this anyway. Um, the piece on the bottom is the uh, MC462. This is the um, most popular amplifier Macintosh sells. It's a uh, 450 watt uh, stereo amplifier. It's the first piece that gets the metal handles. Uh, 
<clears throat> and once you get to a weight point like this, uh, the handles definitely help when you're installing it in and out of the rack. It's, uh, uh, trust me on that one. I've got the 1200 watt uh, MC 1.25 KWs at home and the handles, you definitely need the handles to get it in there and a couple friends. Uh, the, um, uh, this piece is at uh, $9,000. Uh, 450 watts is just the RMS continuous power that it can deliver. Uh, we did a power guard demo uh, at the Macintosh factory and uh, it was putting out over 2,000 watt peaks, you know, before it uh, actually activated power guard. Uh, power guard is a circuitry where it doesn't allow the amplifier to clip thereby damaging your speaker. Uh, it kind of rolls off the power softly if you get into that area where the amplifier is about to clip. So it saves your speakers, which is really nice. Uh, it also features the autoformer transformers across the top. That's the big uh, uh, heavy transformers in the front on the top that uh, they say gives you all the power that you paid for. So it doesn't matter the impedance of the speaker, uh, whether it's 2 ohm, 4 ohm, 8 ohm. Uh, it just uh, it gives you the full power that the amplifier is capable of. Uh, and it's regarded, the autoformers are regarded uh, by some to be part of the reason why Macintosh has such a nice, pleasing, warm sound. Um, the, uh, yeah, what else can I tell you? I've got it on a salamander rack here and we're powering the speakers. <clears throat> it's actually not this one that it's hooked up to at the moment, the Salon 2's. It's the, there's another one here just out of frame, but <clears throat> it's the Revel Performa BE. This is the F328 Performa BE speaker. That's my favorite tweeter in the industry. Uh, it's the same tweeter that's in my, I have the Altima uh, Studio 2's at home. Uh, the resolution on the tweeter is great. Uh, and then this one with the triple eight inch woofer is the slam out of it is, is pretty awesome. Uh, we also have a subwoofer, which might be out of the frame over there, a Revel 12 inch sub um, with uh, a lot of power behind it. And we have it hooked up to the second output on the preamp so we can actually turn the sub on and off right from the preamp, which is very convenient. So you can see the difference a sub makes in a system and uh, with and without it. So if you want to hear this, feel free to stop on by. I'd love to play it for you. Uh, I was just listening a few minutes ago and uh, forgot how good it really sounds, you know, when you turn it up. Um, sounds good at low levels too, but uh, in this room because we have it fully treated and everything. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any thoughts, uh, please add them below and uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I need more subscribers on my channel. so. I would appreciate it. All the comments and the thumbs up help too. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.